Pauline Times is a magazine published in London every month. It's been going now for about 23 years. It's named after an American writer called Charles Fort, who flourished at the turn of the century. And he was the first man to gather together and uh, write down stories of strange phenomena in a coherent way. He spent a lifetime, in fact, trawling through the scientific literature of two continents in the, the British Library, the New York Public Library, and um, came up with you know, what are now recognised as the first modern tales of UFOs, for example. He gathered together hundreds of examples of frogs that have fallen from the sky, fishes that have come down. Um, he also wrote about uh, what he called wild talents, what we now call psychical phenomena, psychokinesis, poltergeist, and so on. Um, but the key thing that, which he did was he wrote it all down with an open mind and a sense of humour, and that's what 14 Times is still dedicated to doing now. So um, the magazine doesn't accept uh, absolutely anything that it writes. We don't believe it firmly. We try to exclude known hoaxes, but um, we don't have the resources or the knowledge to, to check out everything that we publish. And you know, by definition, anything that uh, comes within our purview is, is likely to have insufficient evidence for it to be proven one way or the other. Um, and that gives us a, you know, an open-mindedness, hopefully, because the problem with the unexplained is that as soon as you start to adopt a single theory and you believe it firmly, you then exclude evidence that doesn't fit your theory, uh, and that starts making you close-minded and eventually it turns you into a crank. Now, at 14 times we have the freedom to publish all sorts of material without believing it firmly, and that means that we can publish stuff which is, you know, sounds fairly unbelievable and we don't have to endorse it. So, for example, recently we've uh, had stories coming out of Africa um, Uganda, for example, is a, a panic over there about banishing wedding tackle. Um, it's believed that uh, a group of sorcerers are going around stealing people's genitals for use uh, in aphrodisiac potions. And the way they do that is by shaking hands with you. Uh, and at the moment you shake hands, your genitals vanish. Uh, there's therefore you know, a, a widespread refusal to shake hands with strangers in Uganda at the moment. And those people who are daring to do it are then selfishly going to a corner, sticking their hands in their pockets and just sort of checking that everything is still as it should be. Over on the other side of the country, um, in Nigeria recently, there was a, a bizarre case of a serial killer called Alfred John who claimed that he was a transvestite water goddess who had been possessed by this mammy water, a sort of mermaid spirit, and uh, had been compelled by it to kill and suck the blood of about 200 people. Um, we've also had stories from the forests of Central Africa uh, about a madman who's been going to the uh, forest there with a tranquilizer dart gun, shooting gorillas with it, and then while they're out cold, he dresses them in clown suits and releases them back into the wild. Uh, we could tell similar stories from any continent in the world, really. I mean, Russia is an area where there are lots of strange things going on at the moment. We had a, a case recently of a psychic called Alexei Frankel, who claimed to be the world's greatest psychokinetic. He could move and stop things with the power of his mind. And one day he decided to demonstrate this by walking along a, a railway track and stopping the uh, Omsk Diesel Express with his brain power. He was run over by the train and killed, and his, his assistant apologised to the waiting media and said that, sadly, Alexei just didn't believe strongly enough today. Uh, Britain, of course, is, is also full of strange phenomena. We cover everything in the UK from the Loch Ness Monster in the north down to the Beast of Bombing in the south, and, and also tales of strange human behaviour. We cover ghosts, miracles, weeping and moving statues, for example, are well on the up at the moment as we move towards the millennium. We've had cases of, from around the world of statues that uh, weep, uh, shed tears, menstruate in one case from Chile, um, and also visions of the Virgin Mary in places like Ireland, um, Romania, and Australia recently have been reported. And all this seems to be tied in with what we call PMT, pre-millennial tension, as people start worrying about the end of the world, the prophecies of Nostradamus and so on. So really at the moment, interest levels in reports of strange phenomena are at an all-time high, and it's a great time to be publishing 14 times.